the governor of Papua New Guinea's East Sepik province, says once the rain stops and waters recede, drinking water will become a serious issue. East Sepik has been battered by rain, flooding and a 6.9 magnitude earthquake. Alan Burr told Lydia Lewis thousands of families have been left homeless. Things are stable. We've managed to get some response going in terms of the things we need. We're still collecting information from some of our remote areas. About 80% of the information is in, but we're still also verifying to make sure that our information is accurate. How are you gathering that information? Like you say, some areas are extremely remote and only accessible by foot and also boat at the moment. We've tried to use our our local counsellors using smartphones and WhatsApp and text messaging and things like that just to, to, to collect information from our, our local counsellors who are on the ground. In the past, we would have to go out there physically and that would take us about four weeks. So we've decided to do it a little bit quicker by just getting people to send information in. If two or three people from one particular area send us information, then we're able to cross-check and confirm, and then we, we take it off and then we move to the next area. In terms of death, it's stable at five. We don't have any more, thank God. In fact, two of them died on not as a result of the earthquake, but they died as a result of a landslip from heavy rain. And then during the earthquake, we had one woman and two children too, as their houses collapsed while they were sleeping. And what is the latest on the water filter situation? Have they been purchased yet and has the US Embassy agreed to help fly them in? We're still working on that. We we haven't confirmed a quote yet uh, from the suppliers. We're waiting for a quotation so we can start getting payment process. So we're still stuck at that stage. We still don't have have a quotation until now. But we're quite certain, you know, the US Embassy, they'll be willing to help. How many more days until it's critical that aid for water in terms of water filters are on the ground and in the hands of people that need it? I mean, how are they eating and drinking water at the moment in those really hard-hit areas? With the heavy rain, drinking water is critical, especially for kids. For the people on the river, many of them actually drink the water from the main river itself. So, and then, you know, people ask sort of, They've got receptacles and things where they are collecting water. It will be critical once the water starts receding. Then, of course, with all the debris and, and everything else, and then the water will start to fester. And uh, that's when we're going to need filter. So I would say it will be critical in about three weeks. Uh, as of now, we're still trying to get fresh water and drinking containers in. So when it's raining, they can still collect rainwater and put it into plastic containers and so they can still have clean drinking water. But once the waters recede and there's no rain, then they're going to have to start to use the water sources around them and then, then we're going to have really serious issues. And you mentioned that traditional partners are welcome to step in and help. What is your message to the New Zealand government? Our need really is we don't, we don't really need cash. Uh, our problem is a logistics one. So, for example, we, we need plastic buckets, 20-litre buckets. So we're trying to source them in country right now. And that'll be for us to use the filters on them to, to filter drinking water. We need at least a 1,000 pieces of tarpaulin. And obviously, Papua New Guinea does not have that many tarpaulin flying around. We're, we're buying up everything we can think of because uh, houses have collapsed. So people need temporary shelter to keep their belongings dry and, and of course keep themselves dry and, and to keep a firewood dry so they can they can cook. We're going to need things like kitchen equipment, you know, just very basic kitchen equipment. Thank you very much for your time. Was there anything else that you wanted to add? I just want to thank people of New Zealand for their concerns. We appreciate that you know people around the world are paying attention to our serious challenges brought on by, well, first of all, the flood, and then in the middle of that, a major earthquake.